Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supplies. I wanted to make this video today to show you guys how we can repair a crack or cracks in our skimmer. Skimmers can crack on the side, they can crack on the bottom. Uh, when you have a cracked skimmer, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to jackhammer and replace the skimmer. Uh, that is very costly. We do have a simple process that's called smearing, and if we can smear a skimmer, it will save you guys a lot of money and a lot of time, and it is a permanent fix when we smear a skimmer. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a look at some of the material that is going to be needed to do this type of repair. First of all, most importantly, we're going to need schmear. These are granulated pellets. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This is just a small sample, but we need the schmear pellets. We also need a product called MEK, which is better known as methyl ethyl ketone. This is a solvent. It is highly flammable. Um, but this particular uh, solvent is what we're going to be using with the schmear pellets to make the schmear. We also need a jar, a measuring cup, a rag, some sandpaper, a stir stick, a putty knife, some gloves. Okay, so before we can do this repair, we've got to obviously remove the lid. We're going to take the basket out and we need to make sure that we lower the water in the pool because this skimmer needs to be completely dry when doing this repair. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is all dried out and we're going to get some methyl ethyl ketone. We're going to put it on a rag and then we're going to go uh, on the area where we're making the repair. If it's on the side, we want to make sure that we clean this really, really good with the methyl ethyl ketone. Uh, that's getting all the, the grime and everything off the, off the side. If it's at the bottom of the skimmer, we would do the same thing. We would just clean and make sure that this whole area is nice and wiped free and clean of debris. The methyl ethyl ketone will clean it very well. And once we get the surface clean where we're making that repair, we then want to take our sandpaper and we want to sand and roughen up the area where we're making that repair, be it on the side or be it down at the bottom. We want to make sure we sand it really, really good. Roughing up the surface, it just makes for a better bond when we put the schmear on so it'll adhere better. And like I said, it is very important that this is clean and it is dry. So now that we've got the skimmer ready and everything's clean and dried out, now we're going to start the process of mixing. And what we need to do is when we get the schmear pellets, there is instructional, as you see here, that will come with the uh, schmear pellets and it does give you the ratio of how to mix it. And typically what you would do is you would take about a half a pint of methyl ethyl ketone and about two cups of your schmear and we put it into a clean jar. So we pour the methyl ethyl ketone into the jar, then we add the schmear pellets to the methyl ethyl ketone. We then want to take a stir stick and we want to mix it really, really well. The pellets will not dissolve unless it is mixed. The more stirring that you do, the faster it will dissolve and mix. And you can uh, beat it, mix it like so. That will get it down to a nice paste. Now, if we're doing a repair on the side of the skimmer, we may want the schmear compound to be a little bit more like toothpaste. So this way, when we put it on the side of the skimmer, it's not going to be running down. It will adhere to the side. That will make for a nice repair. Keep in mind, when we put this on, it doesn't take long. This schmear does harden very, very quickly. If we want to make this a little bit more liquefied, we can just add a little more methyl ethyl ketone to it and continue stirring. And we can even take this product and get it down to a syrup as opposed to a paste. This would be designed if we were pouring it in the bottom of the skimmer, repairing anything that's on, the, on a flat surface as opposed to a vertical surface. If we get the methyl ethyl ketone in here and it's a little too much and it gets a little bit too uh, liquefied, we can just add more pellets. I do recommend that we do not make any more than two cups at a time. If you make too much of this, it will get hard and you won't have enough time to tool or work with it. When using this, if you are patching and you still have some in here, you can actually close the lid. That will prevent this from getting hard too quick on you so you have some time to work. And if you open this up and it gets a little bit thick on you, you can add a little bit of methyl ethyl ketone. If it's too thin, like I said, you can add a little bit more of the pellet to thicken it up. Uh, but it is very, very important that when doing this, we do stir it and get a good mix before applying it. And once it's applied, this product does get hard very quick. Now, if we are pouring in the bottom of the skimmer, 
What I like to do is in the bottom of a skimmer, you'll note one, one side is plugged, the other side is open. Most pools run inch and a half. The other hole is a two inch hole. Uh, that one is usually plugged and the inch and a half hole is open. So what I like to do is the one that is open, we, if we are pouring uh, schmear in the bottom of the skimmer, we do not want to get schmear into the skimmer line. You can simply take an inch and a half PVC mail and all we have to do is screw it down into the bottom of the skimmer. And keep in mind the other one is plugged so it doesn't matter. That'll allow us to pour in what we need to pour in here so that it will set up and that way it doesn't get smeared down into the skimmer. Once the smear is hardened and set, it is basically the same exact material that this skimmer is made out of. If your other line is open and you guys have a throttle plate, then you'd want to plug that line as well because we do not want to get smear down into those plumbing lines and if you guys are running with a two inch line and not an inch and a half line then you would just get a two inch uh, mail and put a mail on that side and then plug the other side if it's already plugged so that we don't get any smear down into the plumbing lines okay it is important to note that when doing this type of repair that we do not smoke like i mentioned before methyl ethyl ketone is highly flammable and also when doing this repair make sure you wear gloves you don't want to get the schmear on you because it is kind of messy if you do get it on you a little methyl ethyl ketone on a rag you can wipe it and clean off with that uh, when doing this repair uh, the thicker the schmear the longer it will take to cure now when doing the schmear repair you'll notice that it does dry quick, it does get hard fast, but it is not cured. What I like to do is once that repair is made, I like to give it 24 hours, then you can come back the next day and put it under water. I just don't like putting it under water too soon because we want to make sure that we're giving the schmear enough time to fully cure and bond to the skimmer. Okay, so here I have a drain, which is located in the bottom of, of your pool. Uh, the drain is also made out of the same material that the skimmer is made out of. So if you guys end up getting a crack or, or what have you in your drain, you can also smear a drain, but it is very important that it is dry. So doing repairs on drains and fiberglass or concrete pools is one thing, but if you have a vinyl liner, you do not want to drain the pool because you can mess up your vinyl liner. You would only make that type of repair when changing the liner in your pool. And if you're changing the liner in the pool, you wouldn't repair the drain. You would just put a new drain in the bottom of the pool. But for those of you that have a crack, let's say in a drain or even in a skimmer, and you don't want to do the smearing, there is a putty, and this is a two-part epoxy putty, and it is going to be used in 50-50 in increments, and I like to do it capful by capful, so you could just cut it right here. Uh, you don't want to mix too much of this at one time because it does get hard very quick. So what we would do is we would cut it in equal portions. You mix it until it gets to become a, a solid light gray in color. And then this can be used to fill in cracks and, and so forth. And it does work very well and it works underwater so we don't have to drain anything. However, this is more of a band-aid where the schmear is more of a permanent fix. So if you guys, let's say, had a vinyl liner pool and you had a crack in the bottom of your drain, you definitely could use this to uh, seal that. This could hold for a year, it could hold for two years, but regardless, if it comes out, you will have to make that repair again. And then at that later date, if you're changing the liner, then I would replace the drain. Uh, if you do this in the skimmer, same thing. It could hold for a year, it could hold for two years. And then if it's uh, coming out, you would have to mix it and apply it again. But using the schmear, it's pretty much a permanent fix where we don't have to do that. Okay, so if you guys need the schmear pellets or even the two-part epoxy, I do sell it on my website. I will post links down below in regards to that. However, the methyl ethyl ketone, we cannot ship out. It is highly flammable, like I said before, and most common carriers do not ship that. But you should be able to pick up methyl ethyl ketone at any local paint store. Okay, so that wraps it up for this video in regards to repairing cracks in your skimmer. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I do personally answer each and every comment that I get. I do get a lot of them, so just be patient. I also wanna take this time to thank all my subscribers. 
uh, for liking my channel and subscribing. Definitely, if you haven't done that, do so uh, for future content. Remember us at Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. As always, I do appreciate you watching. My name is Mark, and I'll see you guys on the next video.